going on everybody hope y'all are having a good one uh, back out here with the ascent 18 so wasn't really all that impressed with it out of the box um, like i said in the last video i went ahead and started ordering upgrades for it before i ever even got it that way i didn't have a choice i have to upgrade it um and the first thing that came in was the wheels and tires um still don't have uh the inserts or i also got some brass rings on the way um i think those ended up getting delayed a little bit so i think they'll be here the same time as uh some brass portal boxes and uh some high clearance links so and i they planned on having a few more upgrades on here before i came back out for another video but i couldn't help myself so we've got the uh enjora 1.3 Maja wheels or whatever in the hell they're called uh, they got a carbon fiber face plate and adjustable offset uh, they are 1.3s as well as the tires are the Enjora Kling what is it? Klingon I've been calling them Klingers they're knockoff ruptures but they are super soft and sticky. So they are a good little bit bigger. So I had to do some trimming on the body and added several stickers. Got rid of a few Red Cat stickers. Um, yeah, so just out here seeing how it does. I uh, do have a little bit larger of a battery in here, uh, milliamp hour wise, not S wise. Um, I don't know that this stock system will take 3S, so we're waiting on a new motor and ESC before I do anything like that. So we're still having some torque twist and it's still sitting up real high tipping over backwards front ends dropping out on inclines you know stock rtr stuff so this is pretty much just a wheel and tire test but so far so good it's sticking way better than it was with the stock wheels and tires so We'll uh, hit a few more lines out here, try to remember what all I was hitting with the stock wheels and tires and try to make sure I get everything. And uh, yeah, wait for that next round of upgrades. Keep going, see where we can take this thing. One day. It may actually be a little more tippy on the uh, vertical inclines since it's got some taller tires. They are sticking and gripping a hell of a lot better, but until I get uh, some more <laughs> unsprung weight and get the suspension sorted out, uh, I don't know that we're going to be able to do much in the way of uh, steep inclines.
bugs are out in full force today. It's gonna be real nice having some better electronics in here as well. I've got a motor, ESC, and servo on the way. But there's pretty good wait time on those things. So there's still a solid week out before I'm gonna get any of that. And once I do switch over the motor and ESC, uh, I'll have to switch out the receiver as well so I can get rid of this crappy Red Cat radio and be able to put everything back on my Fly Sky. It'd be a lot easier to drive one handed. I'm a, a lot more comfortable with that thing. Oh, yeah. Big tumble. Hey, slow crawled at that time. Must have gotten some pretty decent rain last night after I went to bed. Looks a little on the damp side up here. Almost muddy. Neighbor's got his hot rod out again. Too much. She can't quite handle that much incline. I think I was going up over here the other day. Big burnout.
see if we can get lucky enough for a drive by. Just a driveway burnout. two-tone 57 Chevy it's a monster don't think we're gonna get a drive-by at this point in time though nope one of these days I'll get another shot of it again all right hey, literally pick up where I left off you hear a big beast like that fire up and start doing burnouts you gotta go take a look okay don't at all remember what I was talking about but ooh don't believe that is where I was wanting to go. Ooh, that was a solid pull. Uh -oh. Is he gonna make me drop this and run again? Just heard it fire back up. Ooh, three wheel motion. Three wheel motion. Oh, no, don't tip. Dirty, dirty leaf. I'm not saying I had that 100%, but that leaf definitely uh, slid me right offline. Damn it. Ooh, ooh. Getting a little 
crazy now. Shit. Settle it down. That's a bad spot. Get it back. Nope. It's just a wee bit on the uh, muddy side here today. Let's uh, go try something else. The clipless body setup is pretty convenient on this thing. But man, it, you take a tumble and that body pops off the front damn near every time. Kind of on the annoying side. I can definitely tell I got a little bit more ground clearance with these tires. Let's see if it sits up too high to this transition here. Ooh. Got a little off where I wanted to be, but she got it. I'm just guessing this slide's going to be full of spider webs. It's not horrible. I guess we'll suffer through it. She's gonna tumble. There it goes. Yep. Body's off. Well, it's hot as hell in the sun, and about half my course is currently in the sun, so I think uh, get up this part here and probably call it. I've seen pretty much what I needed to see. These tires are definitely grabbing a lot better, but still got a lot of work to do to get this thing anywhere close to where I want it to be. Regardless, small improvements, small truck. rocking all kinds of uh, stickers on here for stuff that I don't have and probably never will have on here. Got a rep three brothers. 
even though I don't have three brothers anything on here. Obviously. And then I've got quite a few uh, those kind of stickers. <laughs> You know, got a dream, right? If they had a SCX 24 that came with portals, or a SCX 18 maybe that came with portals, I probably would have went that route. But this thing's actually doing surprisingly well. Um, as far as my expectations went, I'd seen plenty of videos where people ranting and raving about this thing, but it's uh, it's gonna take a little bit more convincing for me. I have never been a fan of the minis or the micros or whatever you wanna call them. So in order for me to really get into this and enjoy it it's gonna have to be something pretty damn capable and uh fun to drive so that's what we're shooting for here whether we get there or not who knows uh, the only thing i know for sure is by the time i get done with this whether it goes good or bad uh, the money I've got in this little thing right here, I could have built a 10th scale pretty decent crawler or awesome trail truck, however you want to go about it. So, fingers crossed. Hopefully it's worth it. We shall see. Hope you enjoyed and uh, hope you continue to tag along see if uh, the red cat ascent 18 can convert a 10th scale guy into a mini guy i hope y'all have a good one i'll catch you in the next one later